as I have covered on this uh, stream before, Star Trek Prodigy, we've had one season of it so far, but then Paramount canceled it and pulled it off of Paramount Plus. But it has found new life on Netflix. Season one is going up on Netflix December 25th. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. And season two should be premiering sometime next year. Uh, we don't have a date yet on that, but I do happen to follow the showrunner of Star Trek Prodigy, Aaron J. Waltke. And he posted a thread about the Doctor. Now, uh, the Doctor, a uh, character from Voyager, he is a holographic uh, emergency medical hologram. Yes, holographic hologram. Thank you. And he is going to be a character in season two of Star Trek Prodigy. They're bringing him in. And here is Aaron talking about all of the fun things that you can do with a hologram. So he says, there's nothing I love more than Star Trek thought experiments about what the doctor is capable of. He can clearly change his appearance any number of ways. And with the mobile emitter, he can leave the ship as any other humanoid would. There is the doctor looking very angry and small. There is the doctor with his arm blown off. This is the doctor turning into the emergency command hologram, which was a very, very fun episode of Voyager. And then here, I think, is the doctor posing as Chakotay. Yep. OK, uh, then he goes, hollow matter is extremely versatile with the small localized force fields the text generates. It can simulate bullets, wind odors. It can even turn people and buildings invisible. I'm not going to play all of these GIFs, but these are just different examples. This is Picard using a holographic Tommy gun to kill some Borg. Here's Data with uh, looks like uh, um, he's wearing a um, a cloaking uh, suit that I'm guessing he uses a holographic technology to make it cloaked. There's a couple other things here. I think this was an episode where Neelix had his lungs stolen by uh, organ harvesters and the doctor used the holograms to build a, a holographic lungs for him until they were able to find a donor. So yeah, uh, hollow matter is quite versatile. And he goes, it would seem that the doctor is capable of all that a hologram can do and more. The only limitations are his programming, which is always growing. Who knows what tricks the doctor might have up his sleeve in the future. Again, this is the person who is writing the doctor into season two of Star Trek Prodigy saying, hmm, I wonder if he'll have anything fancy going on. Uh, I think, yeah, over here, I, I say you are such a tease and he liked it. So <laughs> he he's definitely teasing some potential fun things that the doctor might do in uh in prodigy now i was working on like some star trek fan fiction years ago probably 10 15 years ago for like nanowrimo one year and i came up with a an android character who was developed by bruce maddox who was the guy who wanted to disassemble data to figure out how he worked and my idea for this android character was that he had like a, a humanoid robotic frame, but that his skin was actually a holographic uh, uh, projection. He would have hollow emitters built into his frame and so he could change his appearance at will. I also thought as like a safeguard, he wouldn't be able to directly interface with computers like he couldn't plug himself in like Data can uh, just to prevent him from being too powerful. But I actually envisioned one scene where because he's got all of these hollow emitters, he was like literally running engineering all by himself and like shooting out little holographic bits to like hit touch pads on all of the different consoles in engineering all by himself. So there's a lot of fun things that you could do with a holographic character. And uh, the showrunner for Star Trek Prodigy seems to be hinting at some of those. What would you like to see the Doctor do? Remember, the sky's the limit. He's a, he's a hologram. He can project himself to be whatever. What do you think would be fun? Leave a comment below. Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific and Sundays at 2 p.m. So catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below. And thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my whale shark tier patron Ryan D and my anemone friend tier patron Piftle Cakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.